Hello everybody, this is Craig from 9 Volt Games, and that's a scribbly screen. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a video for two Sega Genesis games, because <clears throat> people have been asking me uh, in messages and such to get back to doing reviews, and one dude that I humbled in Mortal Kombat, Enzo Taki, asked me to get back to doing reviews, so I'm going <clears> to... <throat> I'm going to get back to doing reviews after I did a couple ranty videos. Now, additionally, on top of that, I actually had people saying, I miss your retro reviews. So today I am going to do a retro review for two random Sega Genesis games. Now, the best part about these is um, I'm down in the basement here with my son, and this is where I stash all my games and shit, like really expensive stuff. As you can see, my older systems and my clone systems and shit are down here because those little hands are now starting to break shit. That's why my Amiibos are down here too, even though they're his. They're, they need to be monitored on how they're being used. So we're, anyways, we're going through these games, and my Sega Genesis is really the only thing hooked up down here. As you can see, it's only one cord. And uh, he's looking for Miss Pac-Man. Looking for Miss Pac-Man knocked over all my Sega Genesis games, and I've stumbled upon these two gems that I didn't even know I had. Pit Fighter. Which I consider one of the worst fighting games of all time. Let's get this. Let's just get this fucking thing going on right now. Pit Fighter to me is one of the worst games ever made. Um, and then I do a little research on it, and it was considered amazing back when it came out in 1990. It's my understanding that this game actually came out before Mortal Kombat 1, which is important because they use digitized actors in here. So the way you could think about it is it's a fighting game. It's more like a brawler. Um, that use digitized actors, it kind of set the standard for Mortal Kombat. So let's get in here and show you this horrible, horrible game. Let's pick one of these. Let's pick this guy who looks like a very pixelated Ken Shamrock. Yeah, Kato. And I mean, it's just so simple. You know, two buttons and a jump. And the, uh, there. What the? What the? What the? Fighting the executioner. There's like, <laughs> there's no specials, any shit like that. Now I can see in 1990s this coming out in arcade and you being like, holy shit, this is fucking amazing, look at all this craziness. And this was considered brutal and violent back in the day, by the way. That's how far we've come. I'm gonna take this dude out right now, ready? Yeah. Record KO time! As you can see, there's no blood, there's no like uber violence, there's no fatalities, but this was considered a brutal game. They even give you, ready? Brutality bonus! I mean, it's ridiculous. So, <laughs> anyways, you go up the ladder, and that one's name was Salty James, by the way. You go up the ladder and you fucking fight people, and it's, it's a terrible game. It can support up to three players, but I don't think three players want to play this shit. Like I said, back in 1990, it probably was amazing. I mean, it did get pretty good reviews. I looked up some of the old reviews, back when reviews actually were uh, respectable. Back when people did their job. They didn't cry about every fucking little detail about everything. But um, by today's standards, Pit Fighter's fucking terrible. And there's a reason why it didn't come up with everything else or why it didn't last. And that's that. And there was actually supposed to be a sequel to Pit Fighter and it never happened. Thank God. Because there's no way that it could keep up to the violence of Mortal Kombat with digitized actors and the actual skill required to play a fighting game for Street Fighter. So Pit Fighter just kind of fell the way of Eternal Champions, which if you guys want, I will do that video too. But uh, let's go right into this one. This game, I wasn't even aware that I had. See that? It's called Road Blasters. Now, there's a game called Road Avenger that I actually thought this was, so I got excited. I was like, holy shit, I have Road Avengers on Sega Genesis? That makes no sense. Because it's a game that was on Sega Saturn, Sega CD, on the arcade, you know, all these CD-based systems, and it was like an interactive movie. That's not what this is. This is an Atari game. Well, 10 gen here, but this game was from Atari, um, and it is considered a classic arcade game, and I did not know this. So I am holding on to a gem. Maybe not a rare, expensive gem, but this is a gem, and I'll tell you why. Anybody ever watch uh, Wreck-It Ralph? You know, the going turbo shit? Turbo time? The dude went turbo because of this game. He was jealous of the success of Road Blasters, which is awesome. I didn't realize that I had this nice fucking Wreck-It Ralph reference in my basement. So I started playing this, 
And the movement's pretty cool. And now all I can see is fucking Turbo going through here saying, Turbo-tastic! Turbo-tastic! <laughs> but this is basically it. You're driving on the road, you're shooting cars, don't run into limos because they'll die. Which I found out hard. Oh, let's boost this bitch! You know, you're basically making it to the checkpoint, killing cars, not crashing, hopefully. Give me that. Ah, give me that. Shit. I crashed. I lost my boost. That's basically it. It's basically like a bootleg road rash with a car. But I guess this was considered an amazing uh, arcade game back in the day. And like I said, it was referenced in Wreck-It Ralph, which is fucking amazing. And I didn't even know I had it. So, people, if you have a massive amount of games uh, hiding out on you, you should really go through them and, and check out the history of them. Because, I, like I said, I looked at the history of this because I thought it was Road Avenger. And was not. Bro, the na actually, the name... Um, for the Road Avenger game was changed to Road Avenger not to be uh, confusing it with this which like I said was an arcade classic Road Avenger in its own right was an arcade classic it's also on Sega CD so guess what I am going to get uh, Road Avenger and I want to do a little uh, I want to do a little a video for that because I was actually I actually got interested in the history of that so you know there's two classic games one infamous one actually famous that I didn't even know about so, uh, Road Blasters, you learn something new every day. Pit Fighters, you learn something new to avoid every day. Thank you guys for watching.